Tonight, a Chicago man is in jail here in Tulsa after the discovery of bricks of cash inside his luggage at Tulsa International Airport. New at 9, Fox 23's Rick Marinon is looking into why investigators believe the cash is connected to a large drug operation. Rick. Shay, they say Stephen Jackson here had no explanation for why he was carrying so much cash in his luggage, and he, had, and he also could not explain why that cash smelled like weed. It's stuff usually seen only at big city airports like New York or Miami. But an unusual arrest took place in Tulsa last week. That's a lot of money. <laughs> no, but that's good. That's good oversight. Passengers at Tulsa International Airport were amazed to find out the arrest recently made right in the terminal. According to the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, this man, Stephon Jackson, was found hiding $50,000 cash in his checked luggage that was screened at TIA. You can see in these evidence pictures how deputies believe Jackson was trying to hide the bricks of cash in the lining of his suitcase. $50,000, it's quite a bit. TS SA agents, the same people who screen you and me at the airport, are the ones who found Jackson with the bricks of cash. Jackson deputies say couldn't give them a good reason for having so much money in his bag, and the cash itself reeked of marijuana odor, which gave Jackson a one-way non-stop ride to jail for possession of drug proceed charges. I think it's probably not the best thing he could have done. There's so much easier ways to, to make a living. George Lee is a frequent flyer and tells me he's seen some strange things traveling. This has to be one of the wildest he's ever heard of. Of at TIA, but he did make a good point about Jackson trying to check in bricks of cash that perhaps even Jackson didn't think about. 50 grand in a suitcase, not smart. What if he lost his luggage? <laughs> Jackson remains in the Tulsa County Jail tonight at last check because of Oklahoma civil asset forfeiture laws. All that money will stay with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office and they might have to share that loot, however, with TSA, but all of that money will now be staying in the hands of those in law enforcement. Reporting live at Tulsa International Airport covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.